Hello everybody, my name is Christian, I'm with Traders Club 24 and first of all, uh, thanks for clicking this video. Uh, today I would like you to introduce you to our very popular Swiss Box Trading Strategy. Um, this Swiss Box Trading Strategy is mainly used to trade open range breakouts on a short term time frame like the M1 or M5 um, time frame and we would like to uh, trade small quick impulses, quick market movements, um, especially with the DAX and the major currencies. And before I go into detail into um, this PowerPoint presentation, I would like to show you um, how the MetaTrader is going to look like in the end if you have installed our trading tools on your MetaTrader. So you can see on the right hand side, um, that's the tool I'm going to talk about. It's called uh, the Swiss Box Add-on. So it's a specifically uh, for the MetaTrader designed program, uh, which helps you to um, open orders, to manage orders, to close orders and all that stuff. Um, along with that, we are using a couple of indicators and uh, yeah, specific indicators and templates on our MetaTrader account. So if you are following our videos on our YouTube channel closely, um, you will already know um, that every day we are trading the market opening in the DAX, um, which is going to happen um, every day at 8.55 German time. Uh, and we are waiting for the impulse at 9 a.m. Um, to trade. And usually this is going to go like this. And we are uh, looking at the open range time frame um, so this morning we had a, a distance between the low and the high of the first hour of trading so between 8 a.m and 9 a.m of 28.81 points um, so that's a fair range um, it can be much higher can be uh, much uh, lesser as well but 28 29 points that's a decent range and in this case, we would have um, clicked on the top right corner. We would have clicked the box lines uh, button and then you can see two lines in the chart. The green one is our buy pending order. The red one is a sell pending order line. And you can change these lines always with a distance of 15 points in between. You can see that here nicely. And we can uh, change that to, to any uh, price level you fancy. Um, then second step, we are going to select the size, so the risk and the target for this trade. And finally, we are clicking on the entry button to activate both lines, um, again, the green and the red one. And lastly, we are going to wait for the impulse for the market to, uh, yeah, to choose either way to go up or to go down. And then we just let ourselves stop into the trade. So that's pretty much it for the beginners. And now let's go into detail. So open range breakout trading is among the most popular and easiest day trading strategies. You can find when trading stocks, um, ETFs, um, major currencies um, or indices like the DAX, gold, Bitcoin, you name it. Um, very good working in profitable and volatile markets. However, if the markets are not that volatile, uh, if it's a flat market and not much going on, um, the open range breakout strategy will probably break your neck sooner or later. So we have made some changes, um, some considerable changes and improvements um, to target a much higher um, profit target and to make this strategy work. So you can apply open range breakouts um, chart based or time based um, let's start with some examples here chart based formations um, head and shoulder um, you can uh, flag um, uh, one two three formation you name it so if you are familiar with, with with pattern analysis if you are if you have some experience by watching the markets not with too many indicators just by looking at the pure chart uh, you will probably have identified uh, some formations for yourself where you can expect an impulse or a quick market movement. 
Uh, and these market movements, these patterns are ideal to place the Swiss box at any point of time. Um, another thing is where you can uh, adjust your trading accordingly is when the certain markets around the world trading throughout uh, 24 hours when they are opening. So you have some overlaps uh, in the Asian market or here in the European market or in the afternoon when the um, US Americans are stepping in, um, the Dow Jones is going to open in the afternoon and then you will have a, a much higher volatility a volume in your trading and you can expect certain market movements. So these are exactly the things we are looking for when trading with a Swiss box strategy. Um, for instance, um, you can trade the open range breakout with the DAX, especially in the morning. That's what we are doing at 9 a.m. So from 8 a.m. on, you can trade the DAX future, but at 9 a.m. you can trade the shares in Frankfurt and at that point of time, there's a definite impulse every day. Um, you can also look at the Asian breakout. Um, so at 8 a.m. German time again in the morning when the Asians are, are going to bed and they stop trading and the Europeans stepping in, um, you can expect some volatility and, uh, and market movement there as well. Same with London open breakout and as I just said, the Americans in the afternoon. Uh, which markets can be traded? Um, as I said, uh, we are focusing on the DAX mainly. You can trade the FTSE as well, Cacaron, the Dow Jones, S&P. Um, so again, the American markets in the afternoon and the European markets preferable in the morning. And on the right hand side, we do have the major currencies and especially here, British pound yen. So that's uh, called the beast here at the Traders Club among our club members as it has one of the most highest volatility of all markets. So very interesting uh, cross pair to trade here. So when trading open range breakouts or as we call it a Swiss box strategy, it's all about volatility in the markets. And the volatility um, can be measured, so that's a good thing. Um, I've brought you a chart um, from 2018 um, with numbers from 2017. Um, so before you select any new market to trade, because uh, you fancy Bitcoin or you fancy gold, silver, whatever, um, you should um, give yourself uh, an overview of how many points the market is doing in a specific time frame. So as an example, let's look at the DAX called GER30 with some brokers. And throughout the day, we are looking at a daily average range of 186 points. So 186 points um, between the bottom and the high price um, of each day in average, of course. That's average numbers here. Um, again, um, as the DAX 30 or the GR30 is our main market um, for our German speaking clients, um, quick comparison between the VOLA of 2016 and 17, and you can quickly see that in 17 the market has performed much, much uh, calmer than in 2016, much lesser spikes. Okay, so I showed you the MetaTrader in the very beginning and you saw the green and the red line. So both are pending orders and we are therefore not, um, we don't know the market better than you, better than anybody to say the market is going to go up or it goes down. Um, hard to say uh, in my opinion and um, so we are working with pending orders here. Um, if you haven't heard of pending orders, um, very simple stuff because um, you can select um, the order to, to be executed at a certain price, which can either be above the current market price or below the current market price. Okay, and here's what we are doing with these pending orders. 
Um, example, your USD from beginning of the year and we are starting by looking at the um, at midnight. Um, so the market USD has performed um, very, very calmly um, to 8 a.m. in the morning and we had a range of 25 points. Uh, closing in to the very top a couple of times, twice actually, and to the bottom twice. And at that point we have um, drawn in along with a Swiss box um, tool add-on. Uh, so we draw a buy pending order on the very top end of that range and a sell pending order on the uh, sorry a buy pending order on the top, sell pending order on the bottom. And then at exactly 8 a.m. Um, when the Europeans are coming into the market, we had our breakout um, on the side to the bottom um, to reach our take profit. Another example of the DAX, um, January 2018, and this time we were not checking um, from midnight to 8 a.m., but from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. German time. We had a range of 27 and a half points. Um, so again, we were placing our buy pending order line on the very top, the sell pending order line on the bottom of that range of the first hour. And again, here was our impulse to bring us out of the market along with a profit. Okay, now let's come to the actual Swiss box. Um, I mentioned already that we have developed an add-on for the MetaTrader 4 and for the MetaTrader 5, which is uh, still to come with some brokers. Um, you can trade this Swiss box or open range breakout trading uh, with many markets. Um, we do have an own multiplicator and um, we are going to uh, use the Swiss box tool on the right hand side to use that multiplicator function to place our lines with the pending orders and to, to narrow the range and to, to make some money in the markets. Um, in soccer, in rugby, uh, you name it, um, there is still um, some controversial about um, the videos or, or the VRA. Um, don't be afraid of that. Um, so we are very transparent here at the Traders Club and we are recording our daily market opening uh, DAX trades uh, for more than two years now on our YouTube account, YouTube account sorry, which is uh, some sort of, of, of a track record. So we want to show you that it's working if you are trading the market with the Swiss box. Uh, some statistics of the year 2017. Um, so we had 143 um, profitable trades within the first trade, 41 with the second trade, 21 with the third trade, seventh and three times we had to hedge ourselves. Now you might wonder what is he talking about? Is it what, what is the first trade, second trade, third trade? I'm going to come to that into a minute or within a minute and um, I just want to give you a basic understanding that uh, along with our multiplicator for us it's not necessary whether the first trade uh, is reaching our take profit or the second trade or the third trade doesn't matter and again the statistics from 2016 now here's the point where it gets interesting so this is step by step introduction of how we are working of how the Swiss box strategy is trading. Uh, starting at point zero, of course, um, the activation of the breakout helper and by breakout helper, we mean the Swiss box add on on the right hand side. Uh, we have a trading range of, let's assume, 15 points between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m and we are placing our sell order line, our sell pending line here on the very bottom of that white box and the buy pending order line on the very top of that button. So price is falling and at, one, at point one, our, uh, the price is triggering our sell pending order. So we are now short in the market with our first trade. 
However, the market is not going to reach our take profit down here, but it's changing and at point two, um, we are going to open a second trade. Please keep in mind that the first trade from point one is still running. And here at point two, we are open a second trade with a different volume size. So that's very important here as every trade, um, first, second, third, or the fourth or the fifth uh, would have a different size of volume. So market is changing again and at point three, we are open uh, a new trade, a third trade. Um, first one, second one still running, third trade has now been opened and finally the third trade reaches our take profit. Here at point four, all of our trades, all three trades are going to be closed out by the broker, starting with the, uh, with the largest one, number three, followed by the second one and lastly by the first one we opened. So in that example, um, trade number three has reached our take profit. Okay, another example here. And this time uh, you can see it on the top. Uh, I've selected a different risk and a different take profit. So these are parameters which are free to choose by you. And uh, the less, the smaller the risk um, from the start on, the more trades you can do in the long run. So that's something uh, to keep in mind and not to and not to be too greedy in the beginning. Okay, so for the Swiss box trading with the add-on, you need, uh, so here it sends a maximum of two minutes for order entry, but trust me, um, it just takes five to 10 seconds if you are familiar with it. So on your MetaTrader account, um, first you need to define the open range breakout range. Um, which we are currently advising to our club members to select a range between 15 and 25 points. If you're trading the Dow in the afternoon, that range should be adjusted um, to 20 to 30 points. Um, second step, uh, set the risk and the profit target. And uh, lastly, activate the Swiss box tool. Key points here. Um, don't start with, with too much of a risk. Um, my personal recommendation is not to go higher than 0.2% for the first trade. And um, yeah, keep in mind that your PC must be turned on all the times for the add-on to work. So don't close it off. And so ideally you are using a VPS. Um, there's a time difference in the MetaTrade account. So based on where your broker is having uh, the, the trade server, um, always observe the maximum range and pay, import, uh, pay attention to important economic uh, news. Because um, you can have the best setup, but when Mario Draghi or, or Jerome Powell is talking uh, within two minutes time, uh, it, markets turn crazy. Um, so it's a fair, um, advice to 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 not to trade uh, 15 minutes before or after um, these important market news. So you're looking here at the Swiss box margin calculation. Very important topic currently as the ESMA uh, has um, has lowered um, the leverage for all CFD and forex traders. But we've done some uh, adjustments so that you are able to trade the Swiss box even with a leverage of 20 or 30 to 1. So this Excel list um, you're looking at is available to download in our member area. And we recommend every club member, everybody who's trading with the Swiss box add-on to fill out some numbers in advance to make this trade. Uh, so on the top line, you see account balance, leverage, risk, profit, and so on. Some parameters and then this Excel list tells you exactly how many trades you are able to do. And what is uh, your loss, for instance, if the fourth one is not uh, successful and so on. Uh, so keep that in mind that you should work with that list before trading. So let's come to the add-on on the MetaTrader. 
Again, here's the meta trader, and we are now going to talk about the add on, uh, which you can see here on the top right corner called Swissbox. And then we do have a couple of buttons here I'd like to go through with you. So, within that tool, you can see what market you are trading, what time frame is currently switched on. And we do have the box lines. Um, by clicking on it, you can activate the green and the red by pending order line. The blue line, some recommendations from our side, um, giving you example of where to set the size and the targets and the target for each trade. Um, however, feel free to put that in or to type that in individually. Um, Shows, this one shows you if you're in the first trade or second or third trade or whatever. Um, and by clicking on the entry button, you will activate actually the pending order lines. Um, usually it comes with a fixed take profit. However, and that's the nice thing about the Swiss box trading, um, you are free to disable the exit at any point of time. So if you have some experience in trading the markets and you can see that you are trading a new daily high or daily low, uh, whatever, uh, you are free to disable the exit and to let your trades run. Uh, on the other side, you are also free to close all trades um, before reaching the take profit by clicking the close all button. But the most important one um, from our experience is the hedge button. The hedge button should be pressed after the fourth trade. So don't let yourself uh, stuck into a market where the volatility has gone dry and uh, don't be trapped in that market for too long. Uh, again, our recommendation is that you are going to hedge yourself after the fourth trade. So if, again, if the fourth trade are not, is not reaching your take profit, press the hedge button. So once you have actually pressed the hedge button, you are now able to reopen the hedge, to release the hedge, to liquidate the hedge, whatever you call it. Um, and this can be done through the certain ways. You can either open a new sell order uh, if you have a sell signal. You can go a uh, you can go buy uh, when you have a proper long signal, or you can press two pendings in the add-on if you would like to get stopped into the market one more time. So finally, it's all about releasing the hedge. So you've seen the statistics before and um, throughout the two years we have come into the hedge three times. Three times within over 400 trades by now. Uh, I think this is a very, very, very fair and, and decent statistic. Sorry, sooner or later, you will come into the hedge. You will have a market at you, DAX, any major, uh, which is not moving and, and you are sort of trapped. Then please press the hedge button and we are releasing the hedge with a different strategy of ours. Uh, it's called the master template. We are using here at the Traders Club for over eight years now. Um, this master template three strategy is going to be explained by a, uh, by a colleague of mine a bit later and we are doing that in a separate video. Okay, at the end, let's talk about the membership at the Traders, at the Traders Club 24. So we do not have any monthly costs, it's just a one-time setup fee and then it's a lifetime access. Not sure which other coach in live trading room can offer you that. Uh, we do have uh, trading sessions uh, individually and, and group lessons. And these are usually going to take two months, uh, which are designated uh, webinars with one of our coaches. Um, you are going to have access to our daily live trading room in which we are trading exactly this certain uh, Swiss box strategy. Um, we do have, uh, mentioned before, a, a member area where you can find additional videos and, uh, and, and some things to download. And uh, yeah, 
again we are on the market uh, since 2009 so we are we are very committed to trading we have developed um, our own trading strategies we are going to execute every day for over nine years now in our live trading room so we are not just writing analysis or, or trading uh, in, in the vault but we are doing that um, among our club members so if you are coming as a guest maybe into our live trading room so you can expect um, three to five hundred people to be there and to be trading with us on a daily basis so for now i say thank you uh, very much for watching this video i hope you have uh, yes yeah, some some basic understanding of our uh, swiss box strategy which is just one of the strategies we have developed for CFD and for currency trading. Thank you very much. And if you do have some questions, uh, please let us know, drop us an email or just give us a call again. Thank you very much.